In the spirit of always self-improving, I'm going to add some tools to my Biomed kit. So stay tuned. We're going to go over that in just a minute. Right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. I am constantly improving my toolkit, and as part of that, I'm adding a new toolbox to the stack. And this might not always migrate around the shop with me, uh, around the hospital, but either way, it's going to be part of my kit because, man, I'm finding myself just throwing tools on top of tools. And all my teammates could probably come on here and tell you that at one time or the other, having those tools in the field at that exact time have saved us exceptional time and hassle. So, I'm adding this guy right here. This is the Milwaukee Packout large toolbox. It's got an integrated handle, so I could actually put some tools in this, and if I wanted to disperse, let's say that this is gonna be my PM box, not my repair box. So this guy here might actually have uh, an analyzer inside of it, or it might have, uh, let's say, uh, electrical safety gear in it, who knows? One of the things I'm finding is that as I'm including things like 18 foot long power cords to my kit as a standard practice, I'm running out of space. And I have like long power cords thrown in with eight, $900 multimeters. It doesn't make sense. We want to minimize the amount of crap that we throw on top of those meters. And that's where this guy comes in. The large toolbox has an integrated folding handle. I love it. It's got those infamous cleats. These things are going to be so important to me and my kit. Really rugged latches. I can tie down equipment using these integrated bars. Inside it, it's got a trough. Now I find myself like using this trough more and more when I'm taking equipment apart in the field. I will put the trough next to the device and put my fasteners in there because there's no holes in this trough so that the fasteners will go all over the floor. So I'm taking something apart, take this little tray out, Stick it on the floor next to you while you're taking it apart, and all your fasteners will be in one spot. Flat spacing fasteners is the quickest way to lose parts and components. So another thing, if you really wanted to, you could use this as an oil trap. If you're leaking oil out of something, place this underneath the leak like a hydraulic cylinder. This will capture the oil, and you can clean it. Just soap and water. Clean it out. So that's the trough very spacious I love this guy but that's not necessarily the purpose of this video we are gonna go over some of my new additions to my toolkit so one of the first things I like to go over is I find myself needing a file a file a basic file in the field and I always had those tiny little files for like detail filing something this is not a very large file it's it's actually very small but it's perfect it's, it's kind of lightweight and it's gonna be very strong this is for any time you have stainless steel it's got a sharp edge if you accidentally smash something or a customer smashes something into the metal and it leaves a little bit of a sharp protrusion you can take the edge off with this guy. I can't tell you how many times I wish I had a file to knock off a sharp edge that I run my fingers down the edge. But one of the things that I've also noticed is, let's say the rails on the side of surgical tables or attachments to surgical tables, like they'll damage the aluminum and they'll have a little sharp tang sticking out because they smashed it into something. You can use your file. Now this file here, I got all these tools uh, this morning at Home Depot and I was just cruising around. I was just thinking to myself that there is a couple things that I would like to get. I was actually looking for a helicoil kit. We're gonna go over that tomorrow because helicoils, in my opinion, would have saved me so much time and hassle and my, my hospital uh, would have saved them a lot of time and hassle on surgical components in general. We'll go over that later. But I didn't find any helicoils today. Instead, I found this stuff. So, my first one, is this Crescent brand miniature file. Awesome. I dig it, man. Definitely small enough to be in my kit. I'll tell you 
tell you, I would love to have a full set of shears in my tool kit, but the shears that are going to be really strong for some of the stuff that I need to cut, they're also very large and very heavy. And that is not what we want in a tool kit. Plus, you don't want them accidentally opening up inside your tool kit because this is a sharp, right? You don't want to cut yourself reaching into your tool kit. That's where I found these, all right? These are Crescent brand. I don't know what it is with Home Depot and Crescent, but man, these guys have made some really interesting tools. These are Crescent brand shears. Take a look at those bad boys. There's a lock so that they stay locked. Look at that. I dig it. So I can cut wiring, I can slide these down, some sheathing to cut it, I can cut everything from shrink tube in the field. Man, these guys, these guys right here are going to save me so much of a hassle. They got a nice rubber grip to them, and I've already tested these things by cutting like solid plastic. Plastic like for this holder for these sockets right here. So this thing does what I would expect it to do. It's utility shears. They're going to be super heavy duty and they're very compact. So these ones are going to be permanently in my field tool kit. The next thing. You ever got some fasteners that are in some really weird areas and they're just a complete pain in the butt to get to? So the only way that you can get them out, I'm talking about like you McKay tables, you have to use a T-handle wrench or an Allen wrench and you sit there quarter turn at a time trying to get it out. Not anymore. Guys, look at this guy, Milwaukee. This is a right angle impact adapter. Now in my rolling tool kit, I've got my impact gun, but you guys know that guy takes up a lot of space. It just does. If you got to get to a fastener, there's a lot of clearance that you need in order to get a good grip. But look at this guy. This is impact rated. I can hook this bad boy right up to my impact gun. And it currently comes preloaded with number two Phillips. This is going to come in so handy. Matter of fact, hold on just a second. I have an impact gun right here. Check this out. This is almost exactly the same DeWalt impact that I have in my medical to-go kit. And uh, very powerful, extremely powerful. As a matter of fact, this will blow through so many bits if you're not very careful. So, this guy being impact rated, look at that. It latches on there. If I need to get fasteners in a tight clearance, oh my god, this thing's going to save me so much hassle. If you guys only knew how hard it is to get to some of these fasteners and some of this medical equipment, but look at how much clearance that takes. That's what, an inch and a quarter? Maybe an inch and a half? Holy cow, guys. I'm gonna put like little metric bits on here and stuff. This is gonna be a game changer for me, for real. I like using power tools in the field because it cuts down on so much time. And for the impact gun in general, there's some fasteners where you gotta put a lot of torque on it to get them loose. And often you're gonna strip them out because you don't have the proper approach angle and the clearance to get that impact gun in there. This guy is going to save me so much of a hassle. To get it off, this DeWalt, just lift up on the collar, it pops right out. Into the tool kit it goes. Now most of this, it does have a rubber over molding. Man, I just can't talk this morning. Rubber over molding here. So you can get a real good grip on this. And one of the things that I noticed earlier, it's safe around your hands. There's not very much of a pinch point there. You see that? That would be the number one thing that I would be worried about is that you would get your skin in between the two while you're using it, while you're gripping on, getting it up in there. Not a problem. This guy is so awesome. I, I don't even remember how much it was. I'll have to look that up later. But it's a Milwaukee uh, right angle impact adapter. This guy's awesome. Definitely going in my toolkit. The last thing I want to share with you guys. Ah, man. This is already going to show you some of the problems I'm having with it. This is probably not going to stay in its kit. The Crescent wastes so much material at the end of these uh, to-go tool kits. And this plastic right here is useless. It just takes up toolbox space and it adds weight. But this, this guys, I am thinking that this is going to be a game changer for me. Because we don't want to carry standard and metric sockets with us into the field. 
It's such a pain. They're so heavy. And I mean, how many times have you guys been sitting at a device, you pop a socket on, it's not the right one. So you pop the next size up, still not the right one, and you're like, oh shoot. This one's from Europe. Gosh darn it, it's metric. Well, with this new crescent wrench kit right here, my gosh, you guys, look at this bad boy. First off, let's start out with a wrench. Notice it's got this integrated tool head that ratchets, reversible, selectable. And at the other end, you have a standard adjustable crescent, crescent wrench. You see that? And what you do is you have all these, these are multi-purpose. Now I know you guys, that if it's not a direct hex pattern, that there's a very good chance that these will round off fasteners. I also know that a lot of fasteners don't have very much clearance though, guys. Check that out. This is, what size is this guy? This is 18 millimeter, 18 millimeter. And I got, what, an inch and a half, inch and a quarter worth of clearance there? That's a real low, low clearance ratchet. Now, just for, for, Note, let me get a 18 millimeter ratchet. Let's see, let's go the smallest size we got. 3H drive, and this one. <clears throat> All right guys, now take a look at this. You can see immediately what some of the problems are. On the bottom of a lot of a medical equipment or in between components, we don't have a lot of clearance but there's some real detractors from using a standard socket. First off, take a look. You bottom out in the socket. Not only, not we're not just talking about the clearance. Look how tall that socket is, but you're gonna bottom out. So you only have maybe three quarters of an inch before you reach the bottom of the socket. With medical devices, often you need something that can go through. Look, it's got a through hole. So if you have a stud or something that you are threading on there, it can go through. Guys, this is such a huge plus. Oh my gosh, if I could only tell you how many times I had to back off. I mean, look at this. Ah, oh, geez. These guys are gonna be a game changer. This is an 18 millimeter. You see that? So not only is it a low clearance item, it's 18 millimeter or it's standard. It's a 23, 30 second standard. Who cares? Nobody really cares what size it is. We're just gonna grab a socket. If it fits, okay, we're gonna wrench on it, right? That's what we do. But look at this, oh my gosh, this is a three quarter inch or 19 millimeter. Check that out. And this, this is a very typical ratchet, you see that? Look at that, that's a 19 millimeter. And it's only taking up, let's say an inch and a half worth of depth. Versus this one here is two inches worth of depth and as anybody knows, that alone is gonna maybe give you a half hour to your job. Just the amount of clearance on the ratchet. But here's something else that's extremely major to think about, okay? Because this guy here, it's reversible, okay? You can either put the socket on one side or on the other. That way there, you see the reversing latch right here? It's not necessarily gonna be hit. If you have a really tight clearance area, look at this. Don't you ever hate it when you stick your ratchet underneath something and you start ratcheting and it accidentally reverses itself? Ah, that pisses me off so bad. Guys, this ratchet, when I walked through and I seen this, I thought, oh my gosh. At first I was like, that is such a gimmick. And then I was thinking about the implications of it. I was like, holy cow, those are through hole sockets. That is amazing. Low profile through hole sockets. This is Crescent brand. And here, there's a couple other things I wanna share with you guys about this. Take a notice, there's a hidden feature on this. You see this knurled backside that's actually got downward facing teeth? Well, not only is this a, a standard crescent wrench, but let's say you have a stud or something that is rounded off, okay? Now, the fit and finish for this guy wasn't the greatest, so you can see that I'm kind of uh, aiding it, I'm assisting it with um, by putting some pressure on it. Crescent could do better on the fit and finish for some of these, but for the amount of features that this guy has, I, I really can't complain. Take a look at this. So what this is set up for is if you have a fastener that is rounded off, which I think we all have had that, 
you stick the fastener that's rounded off in here, and you have knurled teeth. You reverse the jaw, you flip it over, and now you have knurled teeth on the inside. So you can actually get at fasteners that are rounded off. There's something else I want to share with you guys about this Crescent set. Now, I haven't used this in the field yet. I'm going to take this to work with me tomorrow, and it's going to be part of my permanent kit. It's got metric and standard all in the same, what, 10, 12 sockets? Metric and standard. That's, that's a huge weight savings compared to normal, guys. One of the things I want to share with you guys is that it's not that thick. One of the problems we have with standard crescent wrenches is that they're often a wee bit thicker. And since they're thicker, there's a lot of places where we can't get into. You know, like casters on the bottom of carts? We can't really get a wrench in there because the wrench is too thick. And casters often have like maybe an eighth of an inch worth of clearance where they got a really, really large hex shape. I don't know if you would call it uh, a nut that's a, as part of the caster wheel, but it's there and you often can't get into it with many of these crescent wrenches. But guess what? This guy comes down to almost an eighth of an inch. That's crazy. Awesome, awesome. Multi-function crescent wrench. Comes in as a kit. I'm probably not gonna keep it in this plastic because like I said, they just wanna pop out. So I'm probably gonna put these guys in a drawer like this guy over here. And that's gonna be my kit. Standard metric all in one little set. Well guys, that's all I got for you. I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna have so many other tools for you guys that I've been looking at and I've been wanting to share with y'all. Tomorrow, I've got a good one. Hopefully it comes in on time. It's gonna be a kit to do helicoils. So if you guys don't know what helicoils are, stay tuned for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.